You have bread that you need to get rid of that you bought last week that's getting a little smashed or nobody wants to eat it anymore. That is the perfect bread for cheese garlic bread. So I have some hoagies that we bought because we made some um, steak sandwiches or something like that. So I just broke them in half. I have two cups of butter, two sticks, sorry, two sticks of butter that is at room temperature. You want to make sure it's at room temperature so it is spreadable because what we are going to do is we are going to make a cheese, garlic salt, and butter spread that we're going to put on to these pieces of bread that's going to make the best cheese garlic bread. All right, so we have our butter. Let me get a little spatula. What's in here? I have three different kinds of cheeses. I have a Parmesan, I have a blend. I just went in my freezer and kind of found what was it left. And then I put some uh, mozzarella. Okay, so I'm gonna mix up my cheeses. You want them to be cold. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start adding in this butter because it's room temperature and it should all incorporate nicely. I am going to sprinkle some garlic salt into my cheese butter mixture, probably a tablespoon. Okay, I'm gonna add a little bit of olive oil because I want this to be kind of a loose spread. So I need a little bit more liquid. All right, now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to mix all this together until it is a nice spreadable mixture and then we will put it on the bread. There's a couple things you can do with the bread. You can toast off some right now and serve it for your dinner, or you can put it in the freezer, wrap them, obviously, wrap them with plastic wrap, and then put them in the freezer and then pull them out as you need them. All right, stay tuned. I'm gonna get all this mixed up. Okay, we have our mixture all incorporated. I made a mistake. I'm gonna tell you about it. So my butter was at room temperature, but my cheese I had pulled out of the freezer. So what do you think happened? When I put my butter in there and started stirring it up, it was going nice and easy at first, and then all of a sudden my butter seized up because it got cold again. So you can do one of two things if you mess up like that. You can, one, put it in the microwave and check it every couple seconds, stir, stir, stir. You wanna be very careful if you put it in the microwave because what will happen is if you let it go too long, now you have the beginning of cheese sauce, which you will now make into macaroni and cheese. Or you can let it just sit out and let it all come back to room temperature to where you can stir it back up to where it's like this. Okay. So I'm going to grab my bread. I'm going to grab a scoop. And I'm just going to smear this on. I'm just going to cover it the first time. Make sure I have enough mixture to cover all my breads. And then I'll go back and maybe put a little bit more on the top. Again, you're just gonna take leftover bread that you have from sandwich bread, hoagies, things like that. I do have hot dog buns, but that's not my favorite. Those are for Neil. That's part of our emergency food. Okay, cutco spreader, best thing in the world. It is able to spread versus using a knife and trying to do it. Okay, looks good. My mixture is going on smoothly. I did try it to make sure that I had enough garlic salt, and I did. It's perfect. Uh, if you ever go to Kimmel's, I used to work there, um, they have the best cheese garlic bread. And their secret, which it's really not a secret because you can get it online. You can buy it already pre-made. But one of their secrets is they put lemon juice, they put anchovy, and I think they just use mozzarella. I was looking at it earlier. I thought, well, I don't want to do anchovy. I want this to be super kid friendly so you can make it at home or kids could make it and freeze it. You could turn these into pizzas if you wanted. You could put pepperoni, any kind of meat on there, veggies, and make them into long pizzas. Okay, I'm doing really good with this cheese. I have a lot of leftover. So what I will do is I'll go back through my breads can you really have too much cheese? No, no. Diane, what if I want to make it uh, less fattening? Don't eat garlic cheese bread. The whole point is for it to be delicious and be a treat. So I'm putting pretty much on there. 
making sure I get it on all the edges. All right, I think that's good. What kind of cheese did I use? I had three different kinds. I had Parmesan out of the shaker. I had some actually Mexican cheese that was out in my freezer. And then I had a bag of blended, hi George, a bag of blended that was mozzarella and I think cheddar. It doesn't really matter. Hi guys, they're just outside. All right, one more. All right, what am I gonna do with these? I'm gonna probably bake off two of them for dinner and then I'm going to put the rest in the freezer, individually wrapped, and then pull them out as I need them and just put them in the toaster oven. So I have about this much left, probably a cup. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just ball this up, wrap it in saran wrap, and I'm gonna throw it in the freezer and just mark cheese bread goo, that's what you wanna call it. And then next time you need it, you just pull it out, let it come to room temperature, and you can spread it on things. Let's spread it on pizza crust. All right, parsley. Why do we want parsley? Well, you want it to look like a restaurant, right? It wouldn't be fancy. What if my kids don't eat parsley? Don't put it on there. You could put paprika. You could do fresh parsley. I just didn't grow any. I don't have any growing yet this year. All right, I'm gonna do my parsley and done. How do I cook them? You're just gonna put them in like 350, you know, 10, 15 minutes, just so they're really gooey delicious. Or I'm gonna, like I said, I'm gonna put mine in my little toaster oven because I like to use that toaster oven. All right, so what it, really, what it was, was leftover bread that I had from some sandwiches that I made last week. So I just took the breads, broke them apart. I took three different kinds of cheeses. What if you don't have three kinds? That's fine, use one, it's all right. Uh, I had two sticks of butter I brought to room temperature. Bring your cheese to room temperature. I added a little bit of olive oil just so it would be a little looser and I can incorporate it a little easier. Mix it together, spread it on my bread, sprinkle it with parsley, and that's it. I'm gonna wrap them individually, put some in the freezer, and eat some right now. So I hope that you now know how to make, oh, garlic salt, there's garlic salt in there. That's kind of the secret. I hope that you know now, now know how to make a fantastic cheese bread. Make some off, put them in the freezer, and now you'll have them for the next two weeks during your quarantine time. All right, have a great day.